Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Satisfactory for part two of my introductory series. Um, hope you found the first series, uh, the first part interesting, uh, especially for new players. I'll be going into more detail about uh, the various aspects of the game as we get to them. There's a lot that goes on in this game needs to be considered. You don't always realise it when you start playing the game, but yeah, there's a lot of balancing and things that need to be done. Uh, but for now, let's get into the game. Any more new equipment? So we've got these conveyor belts and poles. We shall use in a second. Anything else special there? Trigger smart and oh, So what I can do is I can dismantle this. Now that smelter is input that side, output that side. So if I can now open constructor, put the constructor down, rotate it 180 degrees. Drop that there. Let's connect the power quickly. Um, what do I need for conveyors? Conveyors are steel plates. I've got 43 of me. So I'm just going to hotkey that to five. It's really used a lot. Five. So when it snaps now to the entrance of the well, the entrance or exit of the building. So that's snapped to that. I can't connect it to that. You see, not let me just stays yellow, meaning I can't connect it, and it goes red. But I can bring it around this side, and because that's an in input, it'll connect to it like so. My little mouse. Shut up. It'll now spit out its iron ingots straight into the constructor, which I will set to create iron plates. There we go. So again, we're automating things, we're making things life easier for ourselves. Wrong way that way. Actually, I want to take one of these. Put it down on the limestone. Okay. So, what do I need for the next upgrade? I need seventy five iron rods, fifty cables and 20 concrete. On the concrete I think I've got enough to do that on my, yeah, on my inventory. So I'll just quickly do that. Iron rods, I've got enough to make 13. Um, let's just do that quickly. Because I'm told 28. I need some more iron. He needs some more ironing. Uh, or How are you doing? You're okay. How are you doing? You got 18 iron plates. Take them. Sorry. What I also want to do is if you actually select the milestone, it shows you what you need up here. So I'm actually going to change the recipe on this. Um, back in the production, uh, select recipe, sorry, and select iron rods. So I'll now stop producing iron rods. And how many copper ingots have we got? None, so I need to go and get some copper ore. Which way is it? This way? 
go get it on key. Same going again. I will be able to get a, a proper miner soon. I think I can blow this up by the way. That's why it looks like that broken up. I will get a um, proper miner which also building that'll sit on here and spit out the um, all like these buildings do and then just feed that into the smelter. Right, stick that in there. Pause white save, little pause white save there. I just need wire, 50 wire, I'm going to fall on, but I can make loads of cabling. Gives enough for wire, and that's just the iron rods. There's that one, there's that one. Let's go and grab the iron rods, see how many we've got made. 33. I'm going to take that because I'm going to build some myself as well, just to speed things up. You can't build everything yourself, by the way. You hit a point where it can only be built in a, a construction unit of some kind, a manufactory of some kind. How many more box that's enough? I just need five. There we go. Congratulations, you have unlocked building miner mark one, building storage container, hub feature, additional biomass burner. Tenth objective, complete hub upgrade six. Note. There are no notes. So buildings we got now are the mine, uh, the miner. So what is it we need to do? Um, can't remember. Oh, wrong button. Wrong one. I want this. Where is it? What is it? Oh, I'm after this. So for this one will give us our space elevator, a biomass burner. Biomass, there are two recipes for biomass. If you pick select milestone, what it actually does is locks the menu up here so you can actually see it when you're on this screen. For this one, we need 100 iron bars, 100 iron plates, 100 wire, and 50 cement. So, have I got. I will keep it in the wrong key, apologies about that, guys. Cement, I need some cement, so. Wow, feels really jittery, feels really fast, the movement of the mouse today, I don't know why. Let's just take that. Um, how many iron plates have we got in here? More iron rods. I need to, to put some more... that in there I'm going to need take that let's go and get the copper from over here Oh, 
Where's my bait? Let's turn around, turn myself around. Not this way. <laughs> Got a big base sign at the top there, right in the middle. Look at that. I mean, stupid. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to start building miners to start mining uh, the ores directly from the uh, ore deposits. That will help enormously. What do I actually need to build a miner? Uh, 10 plates, 10 concrete and one minor unit. Ah, we'll keep it in the wrong key. 10 concrete. Let's just build 10 concrete quickly. So that should now give us enough. If I go to here, pick that up. I can now build a miner. Let's build a miner this way. I'm actually going to move that smelter. Unless I'm building a smelter quickly, what do I need for a smelter? I need copper wire. So let's build. Quickly build some copper wire. Yeah, turn the music down, it's getting on my nerves a bit. Um, sorry, so, smelter. So now I want to build a smelter in front of this miner. And if you see when I'm moving it, there's green lines appear. Now the input to the smelter needs to be facing the miner. So I turn this around, obviously it won't work. So I need that facing the miner. Best to try and get them lined up. Um, fairly close, not too close, but we've got to get it. There we go. That green line coming out at the bottom of the exit from the miner going into the smelter means they're pretty much lined up. So I can now press 5 to bring up my conveyor belt. Now I just need to provide them with power. So one for a pole. What am I missing? Cement. Again. I've been playing another game to press F and I keep pressing the wrong button. Right, should be enough. So right now one to build a power pole and I'll build another power pole over here. Uh, two, I don't know if I've got any wire on me. Two wire. I need more wire. Oh, stop pressing the wrong key. This is literally just to get us going. Once we're going, we will start laying the base out properly. Okay, actually, we just get some wire now. Some cabling, sorry. So I'll try again to cabling from you to you, from you to you, to you. Uh, I will build another pole here. I will delete that cable and that cable. I'm going to build a cable from there to there, there, to there. So they're now both connected to the power network. So I can now connect him back to there, him to there, and him to there. So that's just by using those three poles there, I've split the uh, power coming out across all the machines. Now what I'm going to have to be careful of is that I um, don't have enough power to run everything. So the miner takes quite a bit of um, power. The miner just mines whatever it's over, so it's going to be mining iron ore. Obviously I need to tell this to start making iron ingots. 
which is what it's doing. Um, I can then build a constructor if I had some more cement. Wrong button, behave, hitting the wrong button. Let's just turn all the cement, just to save a bit of time. Right, let's try again. So if I now connect, make a constructor with the input facing Oh, to reinforce sheets, sorry, I just realised. Um, that's to reinforce sheets, not cement. So I need to make some reinforced sheets. Oh, wrong button again! Let's make those two reinforced sheets. Two. No, let's make all three. Mm. There we go. And if I just make some screws quick, I can probably make four. There we go. Right. Mm -hmm. Try again. Constructor. Let's get the inputs lined up. Is that about right? Sometimes a bit hard to tell. See there. Not too close, not too close, good. Press 5 to set my conveyor. Set conveyors going into there. Set this to make iron sheets. I need another power pole over here. Two for cabling to connect them together. So you can have four maximum connections to each pole at the moment. That to there. That is now making plates. That means I can switch this one. Oh, I've got the 100. Okay, we've got 100 M. Um. Iron rods. So, I oh, forget, let's dump them in there. We need... Oh, that's power. I've just run out of power. A clunk clunk and then the power running out so I need to go and get some more foliage and wood and things to power my biofuel burners for the moment. But what I'm going to do this time is let's get a load Keep going, just get a bit more. Um, I had the biomass recipe unlocked. So, what I can do is keep heading back this way. I know the, bird, the weird bird, these have got like a four bit to the beak. Right. So as I was going to say, get to go back to our base. Now I've got a load of by um, leaves and things. I can now create. I can't create biomass because that's what I'm trying to unlock, isn't it? Damn. That's not trying to unlock. Okay, so I'm just going to put the leaves and things in the biomass burner for the moment. Let's just do it the hard way. I'll stick the wood in there. The wood will last a little bit longer. And just pull the leaves and turn it on. And as long as capacity is high in consumption, it will run. So what was I doing? doing? I've got the 100 iron bar. We're creating the 100 iron sheets. I need the copper ingots. Copper in there. To go and make 100... wire
and that's uh, one to two. So for every one bar, we get two wire, and we just run out of power again. So hold on, that's the other burner. I think it's run out. Yeah, this one. Wrong key again. Bloody hell, really annoying myself with that. <laughs> Alright. Let's get the hundred wire quickly. And a bit more. There we go. Let's dump that in there. We need to go and get some more. Let's go the right way. You get some more limestone because we've got to create 50 concrete. So I'll have to have another trip back there because I think it's three to one for these three limestone for one concrete. Uh, yeah, 33, three to one. So let's set that going. Okay, is that done? Let's go and try and see how much more we've got. Have we got enough to build the, the 17? Oh, it's actually more than 17, isn't it? No, why have I only got... Oh yeah, I already put some in there. Actually, I might have enough. I already put 20 in there, 21 in there. Um, in the hub. So 21 and I... 33 gives us the 50 we need. Got the cablings now, just the iron plates. Let's see what we've got here. We have 60 iron plates. Okay, let's see the power off a second. I can probably. Use... Do the rest quickly myself. We have how many iron plates in total? 81, so we need. 19 so, so it's just quicker for me to do this okay and load that up now we've unlocked the bio biomass congratulations you have unlocked building space elevator building biomass burner Heart, biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Finished. Note. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. Good luck. So from now on, we've got two streams of um, progress we need to make. Uh, the space elevator, um, which is special, I believe. This one here, it's huge. It takes a massive amount of room. Um, but you have certain things you've got to build and feed into that to send it to space. Well, looks quite impressive when you do it and obviously the other stream is still through our hub here and this is what unlocks additional items so we've done tier zero tier zero is a training that's what i was initially that's all i was going to do in this for now um, next session i will start with tier one but for now i just wanted to get the basic training out of the way for everyone um, and then we can go in and start looking at tier one uh, two and these have each have different things so as you can see base building unlocks the concrete bases this is when you really start to lay out your factory better because these concrete bases give you something to build on it makes it easier for laying out your um, your factory look how tower's good for getting up cliffs really if I'm honest that's about all I ever use it for um, I mean you can use the concrete for getting up cliffs, cliffs and things and these are the walls and what have you um, 
logistics, so conveyor splitters, you will need these, and conveyor mergers, so you need to be able to start balancing all of the um, stuff you're creating. So if I just take a run over to here, I'll show you what I mean. Currently, your Mark 1 miner produces 30 ore per minute. Your base smelter will take 30 ore per minute and create 30 iron ingots. So that's a one for one, so that's okay. Now that's outputting 30 per minute. This constructor set up for making iron plates will take that 30 per minute and only produce 20 plates. So far, so good. That's a fairly straight feed through. Um, problem comes, I don't know if I've got anything on here currently. I'm just go to here so we should see the thing here. Um, Iron rods, I believe they're a one for one. Are they a one for one? Let's let's double check. So that's thirty in here. This will take ah here we go. This takes fifteen per minute and produces fifteen per minute. So if that's kicking out for smelter, it's kicking out thirty a minute. It's constantly waiting on the constructor. So really what you would do is build another constructor, split this, split the conveyor, so then it's feeding two in. So you'd have 30 out, 15, 15 uh, producing, and then you would get, oops, sorry, 30 iron bars produced per minute. That's very simplistic. It gets extremely complicated. Um, you can, oh, it's not unlocked yet. There's a panel here that'll unlock later. You can uh, upgrade pretty much all of these items with some power crystals. Um, your miners, they, how much they produce is dependent on this uh, um, ore that's sat on. This one is impu impure, so it's only 30 minutes. Uh, what's the other one? Let's see what the other one is. Oh, wrong one. This one's impure as well, so again, this would be 30. You can get pure, which is produces 60 per minute. So in that case, yeah, mine would be kicking out 60. You would need two smelters to cope with what's kicking out. You can then upgrade your smelter to level two, and that effectively doubles whatever it's doing. So even if this one would be 60 then, on the pure, it would be 120. And in level three, it doubles it again. So if this was level three, this spot would be producing 120 ore per minute. And a pure one would be producing 240 ore per minute. And then even then, you can overclock these. So again, here's a panel. You can put crystals in to overclock it and get even more than that out. Um, when you overclock these, they take more power. They, put, they consume more power. So you just got to be aware of that. So there are lots of things that you need to do as you build your factory up to make sure that you balance your know, production cycles. What's this one? Well, this one I've just been doing, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. Um, what's the limestone? Is that pure? Impure? That's impure. How about our copper? Chance are still be impure as well because it, oh, it's normal actually. So okay, that will be sixty. Normal sixty. Impures thirty. Normal sixty. Pure is one hundred and twenty. Base. Let's just take all that. So then, if you think you've got one hundred and twenty and you double it by level two miner, that's two hundred and forty. Double it again. Um, with a level three miner, that's four hundred and eighty. Double it again because you add crystal, uh, power crystals into it. You have to uh, 960 per minute. Got lots of noisy things right here. So anyway, guys, uh, the other thing I was going to show you, sorry, just for the power. Let me just grab some more of these. Because as you can see, you keep running out of power quite quickly. Again, this is all um, upgradable.
Oh, some um, let's get rid of berry. Oh, loads of loads of bushes here. Let's clear some of this out. What have I got? Let's get a couple of hundred if we can. Oh, we have. Um, we've got some flower petals and some wood. So that'll do for a moment. Let's just go back to our base. Now we've unlocked the biomass leaves. So if I create that, and that's a two for, uh, ten for one, but these last much much longer. That's ten to one. I say so. It's ten to five. So it's a two to one. For every ten leaves, you produce five biomass. Um, and then the same with the wood. The wood is uh, four for twenty. So it takes four, but it produces twenty biomass. Now they. You saw how quickly the leaves were burning down in the biomass burner. Let's stick this in here. That's how quickly that's the leaves gone already. Let me split. If you right click on one of these items, it splits it in half. So let me put half in there. Turn it on. That's much, much slower. It lasts much longer. And again, I'll take those leaves. They're better to me. Better for me to turn them into biomass. Okay, so they will last a lot, lot longer. So that's all I was going to show you for now, guys. Like I say, this is just an introduction to get you going. Uh, hopefully, it's been helpful. Um, it does take quite a bit to get to know this game. It feels quite easy to begin with, but there's actually a lot of detail in it. Um, as well as upgrading all the buildings and everything else um, you actually come in here and you get to upgrade your tools as well so you get Benazino zappers you get um, a exoskeleton type thing you get a chainsaw you get there's lots of different things and then you've got to unlock some of those with something called the map which is a like a research bench but we'll get to that but for now I hope this has been useful and I'll catch you guys on next time and I'd appreciate it if you could Sub me a coffee so I can upgrade my laptop. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Catch you next time. This Dragonfly Gamer out.